In response to the recent closure of the Viewfort Wellness Center for Immediate Rehabilitation Work, a team from the Ministry of Health, Wellness and Elderly Affairs conducted a site visit to assess the situation and continue the process of restoring the facility to full operation. The team, which consisted of health officials from the Environmental Health Department, evaluated the condition of the Wellness Center, ensuring that comprehensive plans are in place to address the necessary rehabilitation work. The Minister for Health, Wellness and Elderly Affairs, Honorable Moses Jabaptis, has expressed his gratitude to the healthcare professionals of the Viewfort Wellness Center, as well as the residents who rely on the facility for their patience and understanding during the ongoing rehabilitation. In a recent update, Minister Jabaptis provided key insights into the progress of the rehabilitation project, which aims to restore the Viewfort Wellness Center. The conditions there had to be dealt with. We know the staff, the staff members were very concerned about number one the air quality and also the drainage we know that there were some issues with the drainage we know there were some issues with the roof and some issues with the ceiling um, many of of the issues there are being dealt with now or all of the issues are being dealt with now and we are hoping that very soon conditions will be much better at the Viewfort Wellness Center. Following the recent visit to the Viewfort Wellness Center, Acting Chief Environmental Health Officer Cheryl Eugene St. Romain has provided an account of the current situation at the facility. What we notice is while there is no signs of visible water inclusion, however, when we looked at the ducting system, we realized that the flow because of the gradient at which it is placed, um, it causes a level of blockage. So you find what happens is after condensation, dust accumulation of dust and so on, um, it, it deteriorates and it bursts open. It bursts open into the ceiling. The ceiling absorbs that moisture and over time it causes mold. Minister Jabaptis has emphasized the critical need for continuous maintenance of wellness centers across St. Lucia. Many of our wellness centers throughout St. Lucia require rehabilitation. Many of these wellness centers um, need you know, technicians and, and maintenance professionals to go in to continue to, to, to maintain those facilities. Over the last um, couple of years, we have um, created a new maintenance um, unit and a unit which, which, which will continue to, to do assessments throughout St. Lucia. And we are hoping that in the coming period, we will see a specific budget line for maintenance. The Ministry of Health, Wellness and Elderly Affairs remains committed to keeping the public informed on the progress of the rehabilitation work. Updates will be provided as the project moves forward and residents will be notified as soon as the Wellness Centre is ready to resume full services. From the Communications Unit of the Ministry of Health, Wellness and Elderly Affairs, I am Onika McCoy.